Well, folks, it's September 30th. It's that time of year to get ready for bird hunting. So my poor old John boat's been kind of neglected since the summer and fishing season kind of winded down for me. But uh, oh, I never noticed I'm losing a bit of paint. How the hell did that happen? Huh. Well, yeah, the John boat. I bought this at Bass Pros a few years ago when prices were decent. I think I only paid 1100 bucks for it. But, yeah, I just parked it here. I'm going to get things tidied up. I'll show you what my blind looks like. I have another video started. You may see it before or after this one, next one I post, but I'm building another blind for the marsh that I hunt out of, and it's just going to be made out of pallets. But I have a blind that is a little frame that sits on this 14 foot boat. So yeah, I've got to go and get this sucker tidied up and move some of these old mats. I usually put these on the bottom in the summer, just so you, your feet, you can kind of go barefoot instead of being on the hot old metal. It's under this big old oak tree right now. It's collecting acorns. All right, we'll get ready. So I went and finished just rinsing out the uh, the John boat and I dragged my boat blind out of storage which was in the shed and this is just uh, a preliminary look of what it looks like to show you guys. I built this a couple of years ago again with no specific plan or design in mind so I have a front frame that I've stapled some camo netting on and some bungee cord to stick some bull rushes in and a back frame. So this all sets on top of the seats of the boat and then I cross brace it on the corners uh, just onto some pins and with wing nuts. So I'll go ahead and set that up just to make sure everything looks okay and is still functioning and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay so that took me about a minute, maybe a minute and a half it's harder when you're by yourself. But basically I have these threaded pins on the top outside and inside and cross bracing to make an X. It supports it and then I just chuck a little wing nut on there. I've lost lots of wing nuts in the past in the marsh I'm sure. But this is kind of a good little concealment. It's fairly sturdy. I mean it's not perfect but once you're sitting in it in the marsh and there's a bit of weight to it and some other camo netting. It's not terrible. So I'll show you what it looks like with all the netting. All right, well, there you have it. I have the blind frame set up and I threw some camo netting on there. All in all, it takes about 10 minutes if you're quiet, five minutes if you're kind of in a hurry uh, and depends on how detailed you want to get with tucking things in. I try to do it quietly and early enough that you're not scaring away any birds that might be already on the marsh. But uh, this is just some surplus netting I bought from Princess Auto over the years. It's hard to find sometimes, but it was fairly inexpensive. So I just throw it over. I have everything. I didn't put the wing nuts on there. Uh, but what I've done is uh, at least kind of concealed yourself. And once you're in the grass in the marsh, it kind of hides your movement. I have a couple of angled boards. Just a couple of sticks, really, that I, just one by. I've drilled holes in it, and then I've dr drilled corresponding holes in the top frame of the blind. And all I do is keep a couple of nails in my waders, I jam them in the hole, tuck my netting over it. I can tuck my netting under this, just to kind of hold it from blowing around. It tucks over like that. I know there's a bit of a black hole there, but it's the best I can do for under a hundred bucks, basically. And then if I see a bird, I can easily just open up my area for a clear shot. And same with this side. It kind of keeps you tucked in out of the way and all that's sticking out is your head. And then when you want to shoot, you slide her over. So not perfect but keeps you up out of the, gra the, the water 
I just basically pull it into the marsh. I'll, I'll paddle out to where I want to go, get out my waders and drag it in. All this lays flat on the boat for transport when it's in the truck. So I'll show you that when I load it up. So there's my setup while it's loaded on the truck. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. It's just one of those bed buddy things uh, from Princess Auto again. Um, a couple years old now, probably five actually. Just slides into the receiver. It's only a five foot box on this truck. And this with the tailgate down at seven. And this allows me to carry the boat without having a trailer. It's easier to put in in places that are remote. And I just uh, got a couple of eye bolts because I don't use the oar locks. Put that here, strap that sucker in. The blind folds down. My other hunter sits here and helps paddle. I sit there and we paddle. I'm only gonna bring one bag of decoys this year. And a couple of ge uh, geese for confidence decoys. So, And then I usually throw a strap over the top and kinda across this stuff so it doesn't blow out while I'm going down the highway. So yeah, that's what it looks like. I'll show you once it's set up in the marsh and hopefully we'll get some ducks.